Hey everyone, what's up? It's Rob Dotson. Today on Polycast, I'm going to take a look at building icon sets with the new Iron Icon Set Elements. I'm also going to show you a very useful performance tip, so be sure to stick around for that. Now, without further ado, let's get hacking. OK, so in this episode, we're going back in time. We're updating the old episode on Core Icon Set SVG, and now we're going to be using the new Iron Icon Set SVG element. So looking at our code from the last episode, the changes are going to be pretty minimal. So any place we see core icon set SVG, we would just replace that with iron icon set SVG, including down the tag name here. And in the old episode and with the old element, you would use an ID to reference your icon set. That has been updated. So now in the 1.0 version, you use name to reference your icon set that you're creating. And icon size, that has just been simplified to size. So over here, you can see the uh, in my editor, I've got the icon set that I created in the original episode. It looks pretty much the same. We've got the iron icon set element with our SVG inside of it. And we've still got our fancy circles icon here. Note that the, the icon itself still uses an ID while you use a name for the icon set. Now over here in my project, again, this looks very similar to the old episode. I've updated the polyfills to Web Components Lite.js. I'm using iron icons now and AV icons instead of the old core icons. I'm using a paper icon button. And then lastly here, I'm importing my, uh, my icon set that I've created. And then down here, the syntax to use an icon is still the same. You prefix it with your icon set name with a colon and then the name of your icon. And here I'm using an AV icon from a different set. So you see I use its name. And then lastly, for icons coming out of the default set, you can just use uh, their regular name. You don't have to prefix anything that comes from the iron icon set. So if I go to my browser and I run this, everything is going to look and work exactly like it did in the old episode, which is really great. But I want to show you this very, very important performance trick, because it could shave off you know, maybe hundreds of kilobytes from your site. So what I'm going to do is pop open the dev tools, and I'm going to filter it to just look for files with uh, the name icons in it. And when I refresh the page, what you'll see here, I've got the iron icons that loaded. I've got the AV icons that loaded. And I've got the custom icon set that loaded as well. Now check out the file size for these icon sets. So you can see that Iron Icons is like 59K, which is pretty big. The AV Icons is 15K. And then my icon set, that one little icon they created was 2.2 kilobytes. So I'm only using like one icon from each set, which means I'm incurring like, you know, what, about 70K of additional weight for just two icons, which is pretty wasteful. And you could imagine if you were pulling icons from you know, two, three, four additional icon sets, this would really start to add up. So what I want to do is take these two icons and just dump them into my custom icon set to really cut down on the overhead. So to do that, I'm going to go back into my project. And I'm going to just open up the AV icon set to start. And I'm going to find the play arrow that's inside of here. And again, it's just one big SVG file. So I just I find that element, and I drop it into my custom icon set right after that fancy circles icon. I go to the iron icon set, and I find that Android icon. Again, just sort of copy and paste this right out of the original icon set into my smaller, more refined set. and. Now I've kind of got my custom icon set going. I can hop open uh, into my original project and get rid of the AV icons. I can get rid of the iron icons, because I don't need the whole set. I'm just going to load the iron icon element, right? So I can actually use the icons. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to update the names. So any place where it said custom icons, sorry, AV icons, I'll change it to custom icons. Where it said Android, I'll change that to custom icons. And now when I go back to my project, and I refresh the page, you'll see that all my icons continue to load. But check out the file size now. Now it's just 2.8K, down from around, you know what was that, like 70K. So this is a really, really, really important trick for you to learn. It's wonderful to develop with these icon sets. I really enjoy it. It, it makes it very convenient. But when it's time to go to production, you got to make sure that you're you know, trimming these things down. You don't have excess icons that you're loading that are just going to slow down the user's initial load experience. So hope this trip uh, helps you build slightly more performant application. So that about covers it. You now know how to work with 1.0 Iron Icon Set SVG elements, and your site should be a bit smaller thanks to that little trick that I showed you. That's it for this week, folks. Be sure to click that little subscribe button. If you have questions, leave them down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.